Hi ladies and girls, welcome back for another video. It is Melissa Q and it's Everyday May. Before we get started, I do want to let you guys know that I do post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And Everyday May means a video every single day. But I wanted to come in this video and share with you guys my luxury haul. I do have a spring haul coming, but I did collect some luxury bits and I wanted to come in this video and show you what I got. So. Without further ado, let's get into the video. I did go to a Armani and YSL training. The first thing I am going to show you, I did get from the training. And when I say the training, they didn't pass out or give out anything, but I did win an item for just, you know, they, we were playing a game and then we were able to shop into the store. Now at the store, I did get it at a discounted price, but some, some of you guys know that I love my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk and I would pay regular price for this. So I will come with a luxury haul if it's worth your money or not, testing these items and yeah, let's just get into it. This is an Armani set. Okay, so this is the eye tint. This is the eye tint. This is the Smooth Silk Waterproof Eyeliner Pencil, the mascara and the Perfection Eye Makeup Remover. Bonnie, I'm really excited about trying this. I heard this eyeliner and this mascara is pretty good. Um, I know Fleur de Force here on YouTube has talked about this, but I'm really excited about this eye tint and also the eye makeup remover. So that's the first thing. This is a set. I know I am I really, really like mascara, so I want to see if that mascara is worth its money because the mascara by itself was worth the entire, I think the mascara, yeah, the mascara was worth the entire amount that I paid for, for this set for it. So everything else pretty much came free. It was like me paying for the mascara full price. So really in, can, so excited to try this. This is an item that I have been wanting for a while and it actually came in this set and it is the YSL bonbon. I am so excited about trying this and because I do love the flower balm, but this one is a sweeter scent and I got the large size. So this is so, so beautiful. Can't wait to use this. And it also came with its own shower gel and the lotion, the perfume body lotion. So I'm really excited about the, now I actually got this with purchase, but I'm really excited about this because I want to do a comparison video and this shade is a little bit lighter and this is in 6.5, but this is the Giorgio Armani designer lift foundation. I'm really excited about this. This one does have SPF 20 where the Giorgio Armani luminous silk does not have any SPF in it but this is claimed to be more full coverage. So I'm really excited about trying these two. You know, number nine is a little bit darker for me and this one is a little bit too light. So mixing these would probably be perfect, but this one is supposed to have a little bit more pigmentation, which I totally agree because I did swatch it, but I wanna do a comparison video versus the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk because I have never heard of the designer lift. I know I heard of the Power Fabric, but I had never heard of this one before, so I'm really excited about trying this. And again, this is 6.5, the shade in the Designer Lift uh, foundation. And it comes in the same similar box as the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. Was the Lip Maestro. This is in shade 202. This is one of their most popular nudes. It is a very comfortable liquid lipstick, but I am so excited about trying this as well. If I didn't have this beautiful color by ColourPop and Ponyland on my lips, I would have definitely put this on, but so excited to try this. And also this is the Eyes to Kill liner. Now I did win this. This one is in Rose Iron, number two. So this is actually how it looks. I actually could put this on right now, but I'm not. And um, I would do close-ups of all the products. I have a lipstick. This one is in the shade 103. And this is from the Rouge Ecstasy collection. Beautiful red packaging and a beautiful muted pinky shade. So creamy. But that's how that looks. It's like a pinky rose. Oh, and it's magnetic. I like that. 
purchased this. This is the Luminous Silk Compact. I've been wanting to get this for a long time. This is the powder of the Luminous Silk. So I got this in 6.5 because the shade range is a little bit, little bit different. It does not run the same. So that's how that looks. Really excited about trying this powder. I'll come back and definitely let you guys know. It does have a sponge in the bottom, but I'm really excited about this. This is so beautiful. This is the Kaleidoscope Face and Eye Palette. This is in Mystic Blue number one. So pretty. You can use this on your eyes, your face, but this is how this looks. Oh, so pretty. <gasps> Wait a minute. I did not know this, y'all. I thought I saw all of it, but I didn't. Oh my goodness. Okay. So this is the blush. And this is the eye palette. I didn't even see this part. I only saw the top part, but it has some eyeshadow. So I'm definitely going to do a face with this. Beautiful smoky eye. Oh, that's pretty. And I will swatch these for you guys. So those are the shades of the of the eyeshadows. And let's swatch. This is a blush like slash highlighter. So pretty. It's that shade right there. Beautiful. I have worn this before and it's absolutely gorgeous. I use it as a cheek topper. So, so beautiful. So really excited about this. One of my brushes fell out. So excited about using that. I did not even know about the bottom part of that. But I was like, Mystic Blue. And it has ways to use it. So excited about this. I should compare this to, I have a little palette of the Dior. Where is it? I have a Dior palette. Anyway, I should compare it. Because I have my opinions about the Dior shadows in this. And this is a small compact. This is like a mini. Yes, I took the other one back. Someone else bought this and the mascara, which I need to review the mascara, but anyway. That is what I got from Giorgio Armani. Now, let me show you guys what I got from Hourglass. I do consider Hourglass Lux, but I wanna show you what I got from the, this is what I got from the sale, the Sephora VIB sale. This is the Hourglass Lip Oil. I've heard great things about this. I tried it and it looks amazing. Look at this beautiful, like applicator and it goes on perfectly it's so beautiful you can wear it by itself under liquid lipstick you know or you can use it under your lipsticks it's such a beautiful it's like essential oils and this is a pricey item and i use gift cards and my discount to get this no. oh i got the vanish stick and honey i already had it in amber but I wanted to get it in Honey, which is my perfect shade. Amber is what I would wear in the summertime, but I wanted to get like a shade I could mix. So I got the Hourglass um, and Honey. And oh, I forgot, I did get a YSL Touche Clot. This is the Luminous Praline. I got it in 5.5. This brightens under the eye. Like I said, I definitely want to come and let you guys know I did purchase this, by the way. So I'm really excited about that. I got these that. from Planet Beauty, but these are the Caudalie. These are the Beauty Elixirs. They had buy one, get one free. So I got one of these and got the other one free. But I love this. I got it in the travel set. I could have gotten the larger one, but I needed, I ran out of that one, as you guys saw. But two small ones. This retails for $18 and so I got it for, I got buy one get one free. And so I have two ounces for the price of one. So really excited about that. And oh, let me show you else what I got from the VIB sale. Y'all, I didn't get a lot. I think I only got like three items, three or four items. I got this, the lip oil. I got a Sephora lip plumper. Um, those are pretty much what I got from the sale. I didn't, I purchased this separately, but it's still with Hourglass. 
But let me show you guys. I got a Guerlain number two Rouge lipstick and I got the case. So I want to show you. This is how the lipstick comes. And this is the box. This is how it looks. So you pull the top off. And I'm so sad because my lipstick hit the top of that and so it ruined the point. But this is the lipstick case. It's so beautiful. I got the, what is it? The French Mademoiselle style because they have different styles. I think I want to get one more. But what you do is because it stays open, but once you put the lipstick in, it clasps it down. So when you open, it opens the mirror. And so I would just take my lipstick and apply it while I'm looking in my mirror. And it has a dual mirror, so I'm really excited about that. It's gonna be so chic. It is very weighty, but I love this. I think I'm gonna get a pink one. I saw like a pink opal one, and I found out that you can get these engraved. This is the Scandal Lust 740 eye palette. I've been eyeing this for a while, y'all. But I wanted something every day, something I could take, very sleek. Um, I could travel with this and this be all that I take with me. And um, yeah, I really i am excited about this. This is the La Beige in Deep. And this is how it looks. I'm using it for a powder, like a, brown, a bronzer. And so... It smells really good, but I wanted to pick this up. I actually don't have any bronzer on. I'm not gonna do it. I was so tempted to do this, but I have this now. That is my luxury haul, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys would love for me to try first, or what I might do is a face full of like just luxury products. Let me know if that's an idea that I can do. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.